Okay, this is an episode of uh, Jacob Lenhop Tours America. My name is Rick, and I'll be answering some questions for Jacob's YouTube channel. Uh, first one is, uh, where did I grow up? Um, um, complicated question a little bit. I was born in Louisiana, lived there for a few years. We moved to uh, suburbs of St. Louis, Missouri, uh, where I spent most of my growing up. Then my parents got divorced, and... Uh, Finished, I finished high school in eastern Colorado, in a, a small town, Burlington, Colorado. So, okay. Um, what are some of my favorite movies and why? Uh, ones that are hitting me right now, that changes daily, pretty much. Uh, um, Steel Magnolias. Uh, um, why is the camaraderie uh, between the ladies? Uh, I, I, I love the friendship, the love, the fun, um, the sharing of, of lives, the, uh, the uh, family from, from just, just the, the oneness, uh, the, the, the love uh, and friendship between all those uh, the ladies, uh, the uh, commitment to uh, each other and uh, and the fun that they had together. I, I loved that movie, uh, especially and of course uh, I, I just have to mention the uh, the great locker room scene with Olympia Dukakis and uh, Shirley MacLaine. That was hilarious. Um, also, uh, another one coming to mind is Fargo. Uh, I could be laughing so hard at a movie that was so sick. Uh, is brilliant filmmaking. Uh, some awesome acting and uh, uh, just uh, an amazingly well put together movie. Um, uh, what is the best thing to happen to me this year? Um, I would say the uh, growth in uh, some friendships in my life uh, this year, and uh, uh, I, I've, I've really, really enjoyed uh, enjoyed that and and uh, seeing that those develop. Uh, the people I love in my life are the most important things in my life, and uh, it's it's great when when uh, when. Uh, when things are going the right direction, of course. Um, what is the one thing I would change about myself? Um, well, one of the reasons I've been holding off on doing this video is I don't like the way I look on film. I think it puts weight on you, and I've had a weight problem all my life. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, probably... Uh, Body self-image uh, would be um, uh, a thing I would I would like to get over. <laughs> um, what's my idea of a fun night out on the town? Well, I don't really party. I don't go to bars. Uh, I enjoy spending time with uh, intimate time with friends, uh, dinners, movies, uh, going out. You know, uh, with us with a small group of friends. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it's, um, I like, I like quiet, uh, quality time, uh, big, big party scenes and, and that kind of stuff, uh, not really my thing, um, but, uh, so that's, that's that, um, uh, uh, number six, is there a goal in life I haven't achieved yet that I would like to, um, well, uh, to goal-oriented people, I'm a pisser. I will piss you off because uh, I I don't really set goals. I kind of see where life is taking me and then try to make the most of it, whatever that may be. For about 18 years, I uh, managed an investment trust, did really well at that, and then 2007, 2008 came along, and I, it opened the door to massage therapy, something that people have told me all my life that I was good at, and... Uh, I thought, well, let's see if I can do something with it, and uh, I ended up with the uh, best job you could, I think you could possibly get uh, in massage therapy, working uh, at the Fairmont in, in Scottsdale, Arizona. Uh, I, I love it, uh, and uh, I, I, I love uh, uh, 
the help and and uh, that I'm able to give people uh, the uh, just the overall feelings involved in it. Uh, I like the what direction that's taking me. Uh, one of the things they taught us in school is you don't know where it's going to take you ultimately, and you kind of just leave yourself open to the energy and and see where it goes. And it's already uh, been way past my my uh, wildest dreams and expectations of where it would take me. So let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. So, okay, uh, that's the end of this interview on Jacob Lindhoff Tours America. Thanks, Jacob, for the questions, and thank you all for watching. You all have a good night.